Je ne sais pourquoi j'allais danser à Saint-Jean aux musettes. Mais quand un gars m'a pris un baiser, j'ai frissonné, j'étais chipé. Comment ne pas perdre la tête Serré par des bras audacieux Car l'on croit toujours aux doux mots d'amour Quand ils sont dits avec les yeux J'avais tort de croire au bonheur De vouloir garder son cœur Comment ne pas perdre la tête Serré par des bras audacieux Car l'on croit toujours aux doux mots d'amour Quand ils sont dits avec les yeux Moi qui l'aimais tant Mon bel amour, mon amant de Saint-Jean il ne m'aime plus, c'est du passé, n'en parle plus. And this is a beginner's guide to oil painting DVD. And hopefully those of you who've been painting for a long time will also get a few new tips or a few new ideas from watching this DVD. Everyone has a different style of painting that they like. By style, I mean, uh, for example, my style of painting is relatively smooth. You can't see the brush strokes. Uh, too well, um, whereas other people like a looser, more painterly style, and also various people like different genres. I mean, my genre for the most part is more along the lines of uh, visionary art surrealism or imaginary realism, although most of the people that I have taught painting to, I've actually taught. Uh, traditional realism because that's what the majority of people seem to be interested in but when one is beginning to paint often you don't know what your style is so my suggestion is just focus on the technical aspects of painting and then your own individual style will eventually automatically go through come through now the method of painting we are going to learn in this DVD is called the layered method. It's one of the easiest ways to learn painting and one of the most forgiving ways to learn painting because it teaches you tone training and shape training which are the fundamental basics of any style or genre of painting across the board when it comes to representational art. However, I will go more into the shape training and the tone training uh, further on in the DVD. By tones, I mean the lights and the darks of the painting. Just a word on canvases. Most people paint on gesso because it's readily available. Um, but I find gesso to be quite a hard surface. Most gessos have a plastic base. Um, I tend to restretch my own canvases and prime them in gelatine. So primer is the uh, stuff that goes between the canvas and your paint. Without primer, you well, the paint will go straight through onto your canvas and basically it'll be unusable. Um, there is a vegetarian gelatine available. Um, just at some stage, give it a go. Just try stretching your own canvas, putting on some gelatine and, and just see the difference for yourself. Just a word on color mixing. When you are starting, my suggestion to you is to 
basically, if possible, buy more or less the right colours, even if you just get those little tubes. I mean, I was told at art school that um, you need to mix your own colours all the time, and I found that to be quite uh, time consuming and it used to waste a lot of paint. These are the most handy colours that I have found in my 20 years of painting. So if you're at the art shop, my suggestion is to buy one of these colours from this list. As you can see there, I've put which colours are transparent, which colours are opaque and which colours are semi-transparent. Now that is for most brands, however there are a few brands where the colours that are usually transparent are opaque and so forth. I, I do suggest that you download or just get a colour wheel from your local art shop. But as you go along uh, later on you can get more in depth into colour mixing. But just to start with, just keep it simple. There is such a huge range of paints available. And my suggestion to you is that you just start off with a very, very limited palette. I would suggest that you even just start off doing your paintings in two colours and then dry brushing a lot of the colours on the top. Dry brushing and glazing. Just so that you can start learning one thing at a time. It's more imperative that you learn to see tones and shapes at the moment than worrying about colour mixing at the same time. Painting and drawing are often about the process. They are not always about the end result. It's about relaxing, unwinding, slowing down your mind. So my suggestion is don't be too attached to the outcome initially. Be prepared you know, to even tell yourself that you're gonna do a painting and maybe even chuck it in the bin because it's about enjoying the process and not stressing out about the end result. Perhaps don't let anybody see your work while you're busy doing it because then again it makes you attached to the outcome. And this often prevents people from going ahead. Anyone can do it. I have taught, as I've said, over a thousand people, nurses, doctors, used car salesmen, you name it, all it takes is an interest. And just for the record, the people that I have found get ahead with painting the fastest are simply those that have the ability to persevere. And I have found that the people who are the slowest at learning painting are perfectionists. So I hope you get something out of this DVD and Thanks for watching and enjoy!